What's up guys, we're here in Vang Vieng, and in this video, we're going to show you our top things to do here. So hope you enjoy it. Vang Vieng is located in the heart of Laos, just a two hour drive north from the capital city, Vientiane. This small town has breathtaking landscapes, consisting of stunning limestone mountains, lush rice fields, and the scenic Nam Song River. But what attracts most visitors here is the wide range of adventure activities as well as the town's laid-back atmosphere. In this video, we highlight 10 of our favorite things to do in and around Vang Vieng. Make sure to watch until the end, as we'll go over a few travel tips that will help you plan your trip. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. The charming town of Vang Vieng is a great place to start your visit. Stroll around its charismatic streets, lined with coffee shops and restaurants. From traditional Lao cuisine to international delights, Vang Vieng offers a diverse culinary experience. Find an interactive map with our favorite places to eat and drink in our blog post. We left a link for that in the description below the video. The night market is the perfect place to end the day. Also referred to as the Vang Vieng Walking Street, this market opens its doors every evening from 6 to 10 p.m. The shops line the road on both sides and sell all kinds of goods, from clothes to trinkets and food. If you want to buy some souvenirs, this is definitely the best place to be. At the edge of town, you can find the beautiful Tam Chang Cave. To get there, you need to cross the river by taking a small ferry. Small tips are appreciated by the locals who run this service. There actually used to be a footbridge here, but it was destroyed in a flood in 2021. To get to the cave, you have to climb quite a lot of stairs and inside it's also a little bit slippery. That's why we recommend you to not bring just your slippers, but bring some sturdy shoes instead. Once inside, you'll find yourself in a well-lit cavern that you can explore at your own pace. It takes about 30 minutes to see everything inside the cave and enjoy several viewpoints. A peaceful thing to do in Vang Vieng is to relax on the banks of the river during sunset. Many hotels, restaurants, and bars are located along the Nam Song River's edge, offering stunning evening views. A nice place by the river to have a drink is the Intira Hotel. But if you're looking for a more elevated view of the surrounding mountains, you can head to one of the few rooftop bars in town instead. If you want to explore the countryside, then we suggest renting a motorbike and heading into the Natong Valley that lies to the west of Vang Vieng. Here, you'll find lush green rice paddies, jagged limestone cliffs, and authentic local villages. But keep in mind that the road conditions are a little rough, with loose gravel, dirt, and potholes. So if you're not comfortable on a motorbike, opt for a buggy or bicycle instead. The valley is also home to a number of blue lagoons and mesmerizing viewpoints, which we'll highlight later in this video. Another exciting thing to do is tubing inside Tan Nong Cave. 
This long, submerged cave system is located on the banks of the Namsong River, about 15 kilometers from Vang Vieng. You can only enter this water cave by two, as you pull yourself through a system of ropes attached to the walls. Once you reach the end of the ropes, you continue deeper inside the cave by walking or sometimes even swimming. Other than the water cave, this area is also home to an extensive zipline platform and another beautiful cave that you can walk through, called the Angel Cave. This experience is often included in a full-day kayaking tour, which includes all the equipment as well as transportation and lunch. We left a link to the tour we joined in the description below the video. If you haven't flown in a hot air balloon before, Vang Vieng is a great place to do it. Flying at sunrise is a peaceful and magical experience. The gentle breeze carries the balloon high above the landscape of Vang Vieng, revealing stunning limestone cliffs, lush green fields, and the winding river below. Rides last between 35 minutes to over an hour, depending on weather conditions and the company you choose. Every flight is an adventure, since the balloon cannot be steered so you never know exactly where you'll land. There are a few balloon companies that operate here, varying in price and service. Above Laos is the most reputable one, offering the highest standard of safety, quality, and the best experience. River tubing used to be the most popular thing to do in Laos. You would stop off at the many bars that line the river and combine your drinking with dicey water activities. But after some serious incidents over the years, things changed, and more safety protocols were implemented. Today, tipsy tubing in Vang Vieng is still a thing, but it's more subdued. For three hours or more, you slowly float down the river, stopping off at a few bars to party and get some drinks. You can book this activity through your accommodation, which includes transportation to the starting point. Alternatively, you can rent a kayak and head downstream. The landscape along the riverbank is absolutely breathtaking. As Vang Vieng is surrounded by steep limestone mountains, it's no surprise that there are a number of beautiful hiking trails. The most popular hike takes you to the Nam Se viewpoint, where you'll be rewarded with an incredible panorama of the countryside. The trail is steep from start to finish, and takes about 30 minutes to get to the top. It's really slippery on this path, and it hasn't even rained recently. So make sure you grab this bamboo so you don't fall. Keep in mind that this viewpoint gets really busy during sunset, so it's best to come earlier in the day if you want to avoid the crowds. We also put a list for alternative viewpoints near Vang Vieng on the screen here, in case you want to have less people around you. One of the most popular things to do in Vang Vieng is to swim at one of the many Blue Lagoons. Blue Lagoon 1 is the easiest to reach, and not too far from Vang Vieng. It's breathtaking, and also has a nice cave that you can visit, but it's also the most crowded one. If you want to have a more secluded experience, you can drive further to Blue Lagoon 2 or 3. We visited Blue Lagoon 3, which had tubes, a swing, and a mini zipline above the water. All the lagoons look similar, with a large body of emerald-colored water, seating areas, and a place to put your gear while you swim. As we promised at the beginning of the video, we'll now share three travel tips for Vang Vieng. First, 
As this is an adventure capital, it's highly recommended to have travel insurance when visiting. Accidents can happen, whether you're driving a motorbike on the rough roads or you're kayaking down the rapids in the river. If you plan to participate in water-based activities, it's crucial to protect your belongings. Bring a dry bag if you have one, and if you don't, it's possible to buy one or rent one in town. For hiking and exploring the caves, it's best to wear sturdy shoes with good grip, as well as some athletic gear. Finally, the best way to get around Vang Vieng is to rent your own vehicle, preferably a motorbike or a buggy car. This is because the roads around Vang Vieng are mostly gravel, and some of the attractions are a reasonable distance from town. You need three to five days to get the most out of your trip here. If you're planning your Laos trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below the video. We also included important links that you'll need for your Vang Vieng trip in the description, such as a full travel guide with where to stay and eat. We'll catch you on the next adventure.